Do you ever wonder about the amount of plastic we use in our everyday lives? Who makes all this plastic? Where does it end up? And what are we doing to actually solve this plastic pollution problem here on Earth? Now we know that there's seven different kinds of plastics and you should always check with your local recycling center to see what kinds of plastics are actually recycled in your area. Now I would like to welcome everyone to Trash Blitz and Trash Blitz is a community science project designed to get a better idea of a large city's plastic footprint. Now joining the movement is as easy as just downloading an application and joining the various science projects available through Trash Blitz. Now with the help of community members, volunteers, students, and even scientists, we can actually learn a lot about the plastics we are buying, who is making all these plastics, and what kind of plastic brands and plastic types are responsible for polluting our our natural environment and in today's lesson we're going to be doing a home audit now what you want to do before you start your home audit is basically get a hold of some kind of box or a container basically anything to put your inorganic material in here now what do i mean by inorganic material inorganic materials are basically anything that is not made from plants animals or even minerals so something that is not natural in this case we're talking about plastic. So make sure you have one of these containers, collect plastic for about a week, leave it in your kitchen, and then we'll start surveying. Now, after about a week, you'll probably end up with a ton of plastic, just like I did, or inorganic waste. Now, as we see here, we can actually see that there's different kinds of plastics within this specific box. We have a plastic plate, we have a plastic bottle from shampoos, we have a mailing package, we also have a yogurt container, and tons, tons more. Now, we can't just simply put this into the recycling bin, because now we know that there are different kinds of plastics out there, and only some of these are recyclable, and only less than 10% of plastics all around the world are actually recycled properly. Now, in order to put this into our home audit system in Trash Blitz, we have to separate all these plastics into their specific category. Now what you want to do after separating each different kind of plastic into their specific category is go to trashblitz.org to start your home audit. Now you can do this through your smartphone or through your personal computer. Now the next step is actually to head over to trashblitz.org and you can actually do this through your smartphone or even through your personal computer. Once you're on our website, here is where you can actually learn more about Trash Blitz and how we seek to find the top polluters in plastic while finding upstream solutions to prevent and solve plastic pollution. Now, once you are ready to begin your home audit, you simply head over to the Ready, Set, Blitz button to begin inputting all your inorganic materials you collected over the week. Now, you'll begin to see a lot of information to help you input all your information about plastics correctly. And then you'll start to see different categories such as food packaging, smoking materials, personal items, household products. And within these different categories, you can begin to find your plastics and begin inputting your information. Now, once you're done inputting all your information about your inorganic materials that you collected over the week, you could actually head to the bottom of the page and click the submit and finish button.
Now that you have finished your home audit, I personally want to thank you in helping us find the top coding brands through today's home audit. If you're so curious about what else you could do, you can always check out our other community science projects through Trash Blitz and the various outdoor projects you could do in your neighborhood. Here's a video of our Los Angeles Trash Blitz project, and with your help, we discovered the top polluting brands to be Coca-Cola, Marlboro, Kirkland, and Gatorade. And almost all of their plastic pollution was made up of single-use plastics. While we work to change policy and pressure big brands to stop using so much plastic in their products, we can always make the switch to reusable, sustainable, and biodegradable products to reduce the amount of plastic here on Earth. And while recycling is far from perfect, recycling the right plastics will dramatically reduce the amount of plastic in our oceans and around the world. So please remember to learn more about your recycling center and see what kinds of plastics are recycled in your area. Thank you very much. We're here in the Los Angeles River to launch Trash Blitz. It's about measuring the abundance and the distribution of trash in a specific location. We'll get all this data, then we'll come together and figure out what are the kinds of policies, the actions that can change the system and end plastic pollution for good. The first part of Trash Blitz is to get good data. We got an app to do it. You will log in the kinds of items you're finding. It might be a cigarette butt or a straw or a fork. You put in the item and ask you the brand. Then you log in the brand. The item data and brand data are the things we need to then move to solutions. 